Hey everybody, I thought I'd show you how I uh, dehydrate my hot peppers in my solar dehydrator and then turn them into powder that I use in things like meat sticks and in my cooking. Um, I've got three here, three types here. These are the orange habanero. These are called orange cherry tomato peppers. Again, nice hot variety and of course a couple of cayennes. Doesn't look like much, but when I'm using the solar dehydrator, I just go with it when it's ready. I like to pick them off the plant. That way the plant gets to keep working on the next batch of peppers. And solar dehydrator doesn't cost me anything, so we just keep going with it. One thing I'm doing in this uh, video is I'm going to be saving some seeds from the orange habaneros here and the orange tomato cherry peppers. So I'll be cutting them in half. I should be wearing gloves, but unfortunately I've run out. So what I'm going to do is carefully pick out some of the pep, the sorry, the seeds here, and drop them on this plate. Try to separate them if I can, best I can. And what I'm gonna do is I'll leave them on this plate for a few days, let them dry, then I'll place them in a baggie with a label and they'll be ready to go next spring. I'm gonna keep this guy too. This is actually really good if you're looking to make uh, some hot powder. This uh, interior skin is very hot. So it's going on. So I'm going to place these guys here. Cut this orange habanero up, and I just realized I screwed up. <laughs> you see I have these labeled, and I put that on the wrong plate. So that's why we label things. Flip them over there. Pull these guys out. Handful. Again, break them up as best you can. And the balance goes on the tray. Ooh, I can smell the heat from that. So, this is the orange cherry tomato. Keep those seeds away. Those are from the other one. We've got some more seeds here. Drop them on the plate. Again, they will sit for a few days, maybe a week. Let them dry up. Okay, so there's a good amount of seeds there. <clears throat> These two, I'm just gonna cut them in half. That way they will dehydrate a little faster. I'm not gonna worry about taking the seeds out of them. They're a little smaller. here and with the cayenne I'm not even going to cut them open I'm just going to cut them in half again just to let them dehydrate a little faster but they're thin enough they will dehydrate fairly quickly in the sun so there we go okay I'm going to turn you off for a second and we'll take you over to the hydrator okay so now we're going to place this tray in the dehydrator and if you're interested in the dehydrator, I do have a video describing it and how it was built. I'll put a link down below so you can check it out. Uh, I did make it myself, works fairly well. Um, I'm at the point now where I can think of a couple of uh, improvements on it, which I may do this summer, we'll see. But there we go, she's in the dehydrator. And we'll close it up. This is always interesting to do with one hand there we go we'll get it spun around so that it's ready for the sun tomorrow morning all right i will 
come back shortly and we'll have a look at it tomorrow. Maybe ready, maybe take a couple of days. We'll see. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Bye now. Hey everybody, back again. It's been a couple of days. We've had uh, we had two days there of just overcast skies, which makes it a little harder for the dehydrator to work properly. But uh, patience is a virtue and never in a rush with the solar dehydrator. So this is what we end up with. Uh, you'll notice that uh, last night I topped some of my basil plants just to uh, stop them from flowering. So I threw them in as well. But what we're looking at today are these hot peppers. So I'm going to pull these out now and I will show you how I grind them up and get them ready for powder. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back again now. And this is the little grinder that I use. It's just, a, it's actually just a coffee grinder that I have bought from Canadian Tire. Uh, you can get them at uh, probably at Walmart, many other stores like that. Um, you'll notice I have labeled this hot peppers only. I have a couple of different grinders that I use for different things. I do not want my other herbs and things get mixed in with the hot pepper. Definitely. So it's very simple. You just basically take the peppers that have dehydrated, drop them in. You can see they're very crispy. Very, very crispy. Ready to go. Everything goes in. I try to get all the seeds in if I can. Still add to that. Maybe break you down a little more there. There we go. Put these seeds if I can. Get them dumped in. And we'll grab the lid over here. Drop you on. And Give her a couple of shots there. And there we have it. There's our powder. I'm going to do that a little bit more. I like a little bit finer. There. There we go. Hot pepper powder. Ready to go into sauces. I use them for making meat sticks, beef jerky, that kind of thing. Uh, it's just, it's, it's awesome. Keep it all winter, and next year we make more. All right, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye now.